Fairgrounds. In mud racing, this facility is theater of destruction. where pre-race jitters quite literally turn into stage fright. Coming up next, we'll see which players avoid bringing down the house in this not-so-mellow drama. This is Trucks and Tractor Power, featuring the all-stars of the four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Summer Nationals. Today, it's the four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Summer Nationals from the Bloomsburg Fairgrounds in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Lee, and every racing facility has its own nuances and idiosyncrasies, and this one is no exception. Now, normally, when we say somebody takes center stage, it's a positive sign, a sign of success. But at this racing facility, if you take center stage, it could mean you're in big trouble. And here with more on that is Army Armstrong. Gary, we're standing about 150 feet past the finish line and about 10 degrees off to the left of that finish line in Bluesburg, Pennsylvania. Now, normally, this area would be considered a safe area in any shutdown or racing area, but that's not the case at Bloomsburg because you have the infamous Bloomsburg Stage Corner behind me. And in the past, so much action has taken place at that corner. That's why these barriers are here. These are JoJo barriers, safety block barriers. They're actually manufactured by a company from here in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. And what a better place to do research and development in your own hometown. The whole idea of the barriers is to absorb energy if any vehicle should get out of shape and make contact. Basically, these barriers are kind of like a roll bar in a race car, Gary. It's better to have these barriers and not need them than to need them and not have them. Back to you, Gary Lee. And here's a good shot of one of our first competitors. That's Mike Yosha in Hyperactive. He'll be debuting a brand new blowing motor in the competition today. Well, the Class 5 competition we're going to be looking at today will take place on a 180-foot track. Drivers are looking at it. They tell us it's going to be slick, wet, and slippery, like skipping a rock, Gary. Well, that means it's tough to get a foothold at the starting line. Look at that. Really soupy out there, Army. Well, again, the drivers, that's the, believe it or not, you got slick mud and mud that's not so slick. Yosha's going to show us right off the bat exactly what this track is going to be like. Mike Yosha in the Vicky, a 461 blowing alcohol, big block Chevy engine, powers hyperactive. And there's a look at Mike from uh, my hometown, Indianapolis, Indiana. He's got to be a little bit nervous as he pulls up against Greg Noonan because this is the first time Mike has ever driven a supercharged engine. It's good for about another 150 to 200 horsepower that he's not used to. Well, of course, Greg Noonan in the Can't Stop Rockin' 32 Chevy Coupe, and it's all Mike Yosha. And, oh, it looked like... Greg was going to stop just shy of the finish line. Now, Yosha records a 357. Noonan having problems at about three quarters through the track records a 478. Well, Army, let's take a look at the shot I like so much. It's the replay coming right at you. You can see Mike Yosha getting up on top that mud. Not a particularly good run at 357. He won't be real happy with that one. So uh, let's go down out trackside and have a word with Mike Yosha. Army? Mike, a 3.5, an awfully good run. It looks like you're getting used to that blower motor. Well, we just uh, installed the new motor and the new blower on it, and it's capable of a lot more. It can only get better. Anytime you go mud racing, you got to look at this guy as a contender. In the intruder, Tom Marsh. And Marsh, out of Vandalia, Ohio, up around the Dayton, Ohio area, We'll pull alongside Jimmy Carr in Never Satisfied. Carr in the 23 altered Ford with a 480 Alki injected blowing Chevy engine. Both of the drivers run a supercharged Chevrolet engine. Carr out of New Jersey. So you got Ohio going against New Jersey, but common denominator, both of them are long wheelbase vehicles. Both of them are 23 Fords. The far one is a 23 Ford truck. The near one is a 23 Ford Roadster, just FYI. Really, they're both fiberglass replicas. Oh, look at this. Oh, Marsh in trouble. A very, very uncharacteristic run for Tom Marsh. Jimmy Carr records a 312. That's the quick one so far. Yeah, but Marsh goes a 386 and had to backpedal at half track. There's the replay. So uncharacteristic for Tom Marsh. He loses it right about the time he nails the hammer. Out of control, a slow run. But now let's talk to our new leader, trackside is Jimmy Carr. Jimmy, you're just a tick over three seconds. Do you think the track will hold something quicker than three seconds today? 
It might. It's awful slick out there. It's, there's no hook at all at the line. You're spinning them real hard. There might be somebody out there that can beat it. I'm sure there is. <laughs> well, if there's someone out there, we shall find out because we're coming back to Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania for more side-by-side -side mud racing. Oil. It's the lifeblood of your engine. That makes your oil filter your engine's most vital organ. That's why Fran keeps going the extra mile to make the best protection even better. The Fram Extra Guard Oil Filter. Unique glass fiber paper stops more dirt than any other filter for the best protection ever. Fram Extra Guard. American or import, it's an extra lease on life. Did you know that your radiator begins to deteriorate from the moment you first add water? Rust and sludge quickly build up in your cooling system, causing leaks and other common radiator problems. By adding Radiator Restore Sealer Conditioner to your car's coolant, you can protect your entire cooling system by keeping it clean and avoiding radiator problems. And if a leak does happen, Radiator Restore's environmentally safe ingredients will stop the leak in seconds. Protect your cooling system with the power of Radiator Restore. Monroe Sensitrack. Road sensing shocks and struts. Designed to give you extra control during a swerve. Extra control over rough roads. Monroe Sense Attract gives you both extra control and ride comfort automatically. Monroe Sense Attract, like two shocks in one. Call 1 800 Strut now for a Monroe Sense Attract dealer near you. Have you ever created or invented a product? Don't just let it sit there, do something about it. You can start by calling the Inventor's Helpline in Washington, D.C. at 800-227-7000. You'll receive free confidential forms and useful information describing the invention process. And when you call right now, you'll also receive a free brochure which tells you how to begin to develop your new idea. So get the ball rolling. Pick up your phone right now and call for your free Inventor's Kit. Call 800-227-7000. Welcome back to Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, where Ford Trucks present the Penda four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Summer Nationals, a part of the BF Goodrich Performance Series. These Jamborees offer a host of activities for the truck lover, as well as the entire family. To find out more, call or write the Special Event Promotion Company. Competition ready to resume as we take a look at Tom Meats in the Real Mud Patrol, looking for a starting spot there in the far lane, and of course, Tom has been a long-time competitor in this series, always a top competitor. He and his dad out of Paxton, Illinois, believe in a whole lot of top-end speed. That's where he knocks his competitors out. Meanwhile, on the other side of this ledger, Dottie Sutherland will come out. A young lady out of Pennsylvania, she'll be driving a 27 Ford Roadster. So, boy, if there's any such thing as a worst-case scenario, I'm pulling up next to the bad guy, Dottie sitting right in that driver's seat. Who's that? Well, there's Jerry Warren. There's the NMRO starter. Boy, yes, a push the button and duck down behind that barricade before he gets muddy. OJW's got the best seat in the house. Meets off like a rocket. Check it oh, out. Oh, man. He gets on top of the mud. What a run. He lays down. 2.84. That's the new standard bear here in Bloomsburg. 2.84. Awesome. Remember, three seconds is quick. She goes to 414. Not a bad run for the young lady. Oh, but watch as he gets on top of the mud. Watch Tom Meets. Almost out of the lane there on his left side. Oh, what a run. Let's go down and talk to Tom Mead. A 284, but you really had to make some horsepower in the middle to do it. Yeah, I tell you, I think the worst problem I had is it kept wanting to get up on the wall there. And I, I was driving the steering wheel with one hand, shifting with the other hand, and it was pulling the hand, uh, wheel out of my hand a couple times. What about the time? You think it'll hold for the day? I think that it's not one of my better runs, but I think the track's pretty tricky for the other competitors. Well, Army, look at this. Coming up next, Tom Meeks, most bitter rival, Tom Martin, in a 32 Ford Vicky. He calls, guess what? The Mud Patrol. Another Mud Patrol. Another Tom, another Mud Patrol. Tom Martin comes over. This, these guys are in a slapping contest over who gets to keep that real name. Meanwhile, Martin goes up against Rich Longo out of Connecticut with a vehicle that goes by the name of Foolish Pleasure. Longo could be a player in a heartbeat for you, but keep an eye on Martin. If nothing else, he doesn't care about winning the race. He just wants his mud patrol to go faster than the other Tom's mud patrol. Well, well the other around. Tom's mud patrol went 284. Boom, and this one bangs the blower at about half track. That's exactly yeah, what happened Now, let's there. see what the time is for this mud patrol. 
A 426 mechanical problem yeah. blowing Tom Martin. He lost a blower. He uh, supercharger went away on him. Meanwhile, well, he's, uh, yeah. what we say, dead in the mud. Nobody's going to help him. <laughs> That's the job I don't want. Let's take a look one more time at the blower problems here on this mud patrol. Where's it happening? Okay, right there. It just went away on him. And when you lose your supercharger, that's it. It kills all your horsepower. But he'll still get NMRO points, but not the finishing honor he was looking for by any means. Well, as we tow the uh, Roadster Foolish Pleasure out of the mud, we'll take a look at some highlights from earlier in the competition. Ben Nevenhouse in the Toyota Hellraiser, a native of Ontario, Canada, has his hands full. Hang on, Ben. Well, it's only 180 feet, but it's better than a blue ticket ride at Disney World. Also taking a rough ride out of the far lane, Tony Pasillo in the 32 Roadster Fortified. Everybody's making horsepower, but very few of them are going straight today at Bloomsburg. And here's the matchup between uh, Mike Shifley and the nitrous ejected tea bucket over the top and the 32 Ford Vicky and Jerry Stolpen. There's the time for Mike 377 and Jerry's 3.62. Uh, you folks notice how I'm not announcing any of these drivers' names. I'm leaving it to my friend Gary Lee. I'm just watching some good racing. I can't even pronounce these guys' names. Gary, back well, to back you. Back in the starting line, Ron McKinney taking on Rich Goditis in Ratso, a 28 Roadster with a 700 cubic inch alcohol injected Chevy power plant. McKinney in a more conventional 83 Ford Ranger with a 472 under the hood. The Ford Ranger are having advantage on the starting line. As you can see, the ruts he's going to run in because he is heavier. That helps him on the starting line. But the white car on the other lane should come on like a rocket, literally at the finish line into the track, Gary. Pickup truck Ratso takes him in. Trouble. The fiberglass body being shed from Ratso as Ratso lands upside down. A terrifying wreck. Safety crew comes on the scene, Gary. I can see the driver moving around inside. The roll cage does its job. You can see that fiberglass body peel away. It was actually shot off that as the car went over. You can see the driver hanging upside down. The and safety the crew right there to talk to him. Track official literally crawling up in there with him to get him out of it. And the helmet comes off. Let's go down trackside. Army, what can you tell us? Once again, we're looking at how important that these roll cages are. The driver is actually strapped in the vehicle. He's trying to come out right now. Vehicle's laying upside down. Safety crew is right here on top of it. Everything's okay. Now, what I like about this, you got one man in charge, and he's talking. Everybody through this, and everybody is listening. He's like a drill sergeant down there, but everybody's listening. Here you go. The driver's coming out. Once again, the safety equipment works on the vehicle. No, I'm all right. Hey, where's the rear? <laughs> there you go. Go ahead. The crowd, they're tickled to death. You're okay. Looks like coming out of these pits are causing all kind of problems for a guy all year long. It seems like going through the pits one thing, but it's a whole different ballgame when you come out. Yeah, about three-quarter track, it caught a rut, and it just, when you hit the dry, it really, really turned me. Who built your chassis? They did an awfully good job. I did. You did? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm all right. Okay, people, I want to clear the area. Well, once again, let's take a look, Army, at what happened. He says a three-quarter track, he hooked a rut. I don't, right there, he's coming out of, there you go, that's the rut we're talking about. Comes over, high sides it. Most of the flips in this port, the car turns to the right. The left front wheel is the last to leave the well, ground. Last time it started to turn and actually tuck that yeah. rear tire under and flipped it on over. Believe it or not, with that run, he turned it a 3-3-2. That is good enough for third on the leaderboard. Let's take another look. Yeah, but Gary, what happened, these chassis are coming off the starting line. They're having to bend one way. Then they come to the finish line and come out of that pit. They've got to bend the other way. These chassis are literally flexing and allowing it to bend. And the drivers, I don't think, are controlling it with the steering wheel at all. The chassis kind of has a mind all its own. So as they clean up this wreckage, we'll come back with more from Bloomsburg. Polish a whole car in about half the time with new Turtle Wax Instant Foam and Shine, the first foaming car polish. It's so much easier. With ordinary polish, you have to wipe, wait, and rub. With new Instant Foam and Shine, you just foam and shine. 
A mirror-like shine with long-lasting turtle wax protection. It's never been easier or faster. So why wait? Polish your car in about half the time with new turtle wax instant foam and shine. T Plus, the engine treatment with DuPont Teflon protects the heart and soul of your car. The engine. Without T Plus, your engine faces a daily grind of dry start, stop and go driving, freezing wind and scorching heat. It's inhuman. But add T Plus one time and your engine becomes a smooth running all with a power machine protected for up to 50,000 miles. So beat the daily grind at T Plus. The T is for Teflon. Lieutenant John Robbins, wrongly condemned to the island prison of the future. I could use a man like you. There, every day is a battle no! between the savage. Now I'm gonna kill you. And the civilized. We've created a new society here. We'd like you to join us. He's military trained, you realize that? Somebody taught him how to kill. They're outnumbered six to one. No escape. Come and get it! Red Star starts Friday, April 29th at theaters everywhere. If you're looking for a reliable place to service your car or truck, it's a Pep Boys Automotive Supercenter. Their ASC certified technicians are here when you need them, day or night, even on Sunday. Come to Pep Boys and drive away happy. One of the fastest growing groups of people with AIDS are in their 20s. AIDS can have an incubation period of up to 11 years. That means that many people with AIDS were infected as teenagers. If you're a teenager, please get the facts. Break the silence. 1-800-342-AIDS. Today on TNN Motorsports. When the Bush boys head to Hickory, North Carolina, the racing gets rough and tumble. Last year, Ernie Irvin took the early lead, but soon fell victim to the treacherous track. Then Mark Martin tried to dodge the danger and found his way to the wall. Eventually, Steve Grissom survived the sheet metal maze and took his first win of the year. It's the Sundrop 400, 4 p.m. 3 Central. And it's only on TNN Motorsports, where it's fast and furious. Army Armstrong and Gary Lee back at the Bloomsburg Fairgrounds in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. There is a look at the remains of Ratso. As we can show you now the standings here in our side-by-side -side mud racing competition. Tom Meats in the Mud Patrol, a 284. A 312 is Jimmy Carr, never satisfied. And uh, there's Rick's Ratso at 332. As we take a look now at Polish Express, that is Paul Lukashevitz. He pulls alongside Joe Bagdonis in the Predator, a 500 cubic inch Rodex. Bagdonis is in a fiberglass Jeep or replica vehicle. That'll be the yellow vehicle. Paul comes out in a 23 Ford, the Polish Express. At 23 Ford bodies down to 32 Vicky seem to be the most popular in sport. Once again, the camera angle gives you the grooves these drivers are talking about. When they say hook to rut, that's what they're talking about. They get out of those grooves, they're in trouble. See them bounce. Both those guys did that, Gary. When they come out of that pit, that chassis has to do something weird. 293. Hey, excellent ride yeah. for Paul. 293. As we check out Joe's 368. Gary, on the starting line, we're going to look at something. I want you to hold your hand flat right now. That's the way you sit on the line. Now tweak it to the right a little bit. Now you're under power. Now we're going to come to the finish line, take it all the way to the left. That's what these frames have to do. You're asking a whole lot of some metal when you do that, when you got 1,800 horsepower and 150 mile an hour wheel speed. Well, if you take a look now at Matthew Ward in the Mystic Warrior, pretty paint job on that Simpson helmet as he puts her in gear and starts the stage. There's a look at Matt out of Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And I tell you what, this kid is the outlaw up here. He's going up against Bruce Wilson out of Pennsylvania the Blue Bandit, but I've heard a lot about Matt Ward. I'm kind of anxious to see him run. He doesn't travel the national circuit with us, but I tell you what, they say this kid can rock and roll with the best of them, and we're gonna find out right now. He's one of them what we call full boogaloo racers. That's his image for CZ. He runs one of the KCD chassis, professional chassis. Oh, he's got a oh, yeah. Whoa, he's oh, going he over, Gary. turns it over. Whoa, he's into the wall. Talk about digging center stage. Is that fuel from the car? No, what that is, that's water from the safety barriers we talked to you about at the beginning of the show, and they definitely did their job, Gary. The driver's okay, but we did, uh, we killed a water barrier. Oh, boy, I thought he was going to roll that thing over. He came out of that pit, got airborne, tucked to the side, and shot across the other lane. But the safety equipment does the job. 
And Ward is okay. Again, let's watch the frame. Let's see what happens to the car when he comes out of the pit. Boy, he is hooking a rut. Yeah, he just launched it right there as he hit the uh, right side of that pit. Spins it around, water out of the barricade, but he's okay. Let's talk to Matt Ward. Hey, you doing okay? Yeah, I'm going fine. No, it's emergency guys are right over here. What what causes it? Did you, it hooked after you came out of the pit? Yeah, I started going through the pit, started getting sideways on me, and then started going to the hills, and I decided very let off a little bit. <laughs> Sorry for the bad luck. No problem, thanks. Well, several drivers will have a good case of racing rheumatism tomorrow morning when they climb out of bed. Let's take a look one more time. Like I say, we heard about this kid before we came on a lot, and uh, he will rock and roll you, won't he? Oh, he was almost upside down right there. There's a sudden stop. That'll get your attention. But if I was going to buy safety barriers, I know now those would work. Well, that's the latest device to keep cars off concrete walls and out of uh, spectator areas. They're doing the job. Boy, good camera shot, fellas, showing the people what it's all about. A lot of actions happen there. As young Matt Ward surveys the damage, we'll take this break and come back to Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. Stay with us. Monroe Sensitrack, road sensing shocks and struts. Designed to give you extra control during a swerve. Extra control over rough roads. Monroe Sensitrack gives you both extra control and ride comfort automatically. Monroe Sensitrack, like two shocks in one. Call 1-800-STRUT now for a Monroe Sensitrack dealer near you. If you enjoy working with wood, you know how satisfying it can be to see a project come together. And you also know it can take years to learn the secrets and techniques of master woodworkers. Until now. Because now you can get a lifetime of woodworking wisdom all in one convenient reference. The Art of Woodworking from Time Life Books. These spiral-bound volumes bring you safe, practical, step-by-step -step advice from the world's finest woodworkers. Start off with cabinet making, now specially priced at just $9.99 and discover professional tips for creating cabinets that are built to last. Then, in future volumes, you'll learn expert tips on everything, from how to select the right wood to the secrets of a flawless finish, and how to get the most from your woodworking tools. Call this toll-free number now to order cabinet making for just $9.99. Use your credit card and receive this free bonus video, Shop Secrets from Master Craftsman, where four expert woodworkers show you their secrets for wood joinery and preparing stock with handy jigs you can make yourself. Future woodworking volumes will arrive once about every month at the regular price of $19.99. Keep only those you want. Cancel any time. Keep the free video no matter what. The art of woodworking gives you the confidence to tackle any project and the how-to advice to complete it with results you'll be proud of. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-592-0808 to order cabinet making now specially priced at just $9.99. Use your credit card and get a free Shop Secrets video. That's 1-800-592-0808. Call now. Don't you wish everyone on Earth had a rod and reel? Ah, then again, that's the last thing you need. TNN Outdoors, Saturday and Sundays on TNN, the Nashville Network. Welcome back to Trucks and Tractor Power. Gary Lee, Army Armstrong here in Bloomsburg, where it's been a violent day of racing. We take a look at Rick Goditis again in Ratso. Now watch what happens when he exits the pit. A real soupy pit. Boy, when he comes out, he goes literally on his head. Once again, car holds together as far as the roll cage, the chassis, and he was uninjured. Now, here's a look at Matt Ward, the mystic warrior. He gets in trouble coming out of the pit and clouts the corner of the stage. We started the show telling you how important these safety barriers were. Well, the picture's worth a thousand words, Gary. Yeah, and Army, once again, he was uninjured in that crash as we take a look now at the leaderboard showing Tom Means in the Mud Patrol on top at 284. Paul Lukashevitz in the Polish Express is second at 293. And the Mystic Warrior, Matt Ward, even with the crash, is now third at 309. There's a shot of Pete Rezik in the Magician, who's one of our final competitors. But before we get to that run, here's a look at some other highlights from here in Bloomsburg. Wayne Welker in the Jeep Funny Car. What went berserk? Posted a 3.61 on his run. I like the name of that one. 
And here is uh, Randy Gehring. His time was 4.03. Gehring driving a Power Pro Vicky bad to the bone. I wonder if they stay up late at night trying to come up with names on the vehicle. <laughs> and then it was uh, Jim Buddy in the 32 Ford Vicky Slick taking on Joe Shipley's 37 Fiat Mean Streak. Buddy goes 3.93 for his run. And Shipley a 4.32. Our final matchup pits Sean Kravetsky in the Willys Funny Car 40 cases later with the nitrous injected 355 Chevy small block. And there's a look at uh, Sean Kravetsky out of the state of Pennsylvania. I like the name of that one, the magician Pete Resig. You know, we need to do a special on where these names do come from. <laughs> I like that there's got to be a story behind the name of 40 that cases later. I can understand the name of this vehicle because we're in mud racing. The other one, they got to explain to me, Gary. <laughs> Once again, the time to beat is at 2.84. The Mudgician with a problem right there at the starting line. And 40 cases later, we'll have the quick run of this pairing. And there is a 3.36, but not quick enough to get him in the top spot. And there's Pete's 3.93. So once again, Tom Meats in the Mud Patrol takes the victory here at 2.84. And rounding out the top three, the Polish Express at 2.93 and Mystic Warrior at 309. Army? Well, Gary Tom Hintz and his father have dominated the sport, but they've teamed up with Paul Schaefer. I tell you what, you guys look unbeatable out there. You're laying down the law for this sport. Well, we had a real good run today, and I have to thank Paul Schaefer for that, and Ron Olson for Barrington Performance, and especially my dad. It, it's amazing, Gary. You know, this guy, he's a, he lets his vehicle do a lot of talking for him, but believe me, he and his dad are about as tight as two guys you're gonna see. Back to you, Gary. That wraps it up from down here for the day. Okay, Army, thanks, and our congratulations to Tom. So as we draw the curtain on a rough day here in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, with Tom Meads avoiding center stage and heading for the pay window for Army Armstrong, I'm Gary Lee. We'll see you next week on Trucks and Tractor Power. Now, here's news of an exciting video release from Diamond P Sports. Bring the excitement of monster truck and mud racing to your living room with the addition of Diamond P's latest home video. Believe me, folks, third time's a charm. Shake battle and roll number three. It's all new and all you've come to expect, from the outrageous mishaps of the monster truck racing to the raucous rampage through the mud bogs. Shake battle and roll three is a must for any and every monster truck fan in the house. Over 60 minutes of jarring and pounding mud and mayhem and accelerated aerobatics you don't want to miss. To get your copy of Shake, Battle, and Roll 3, call 1-800-438-8585 or send 1995 check or money order plus $4 shipping and handling to the address shown on your screen or charge it on your MasterCard, Visa, or Discovery card. Call 1-800-438-8585 for Shake, Battle, and Roll 3. The Sundrop 400 next, only on TNN Motorsports.